rushes in and she wants to exploit her opponent's uh, footwork. So uh, sometimes, you know, studying, studying your, your opponent's footage uh, is a positive thing. And even though Reese doesn't have any fights out there, uh, this is good for her, you know. She, She's the unknown fighter right now at this moment, uh, making her debut. Uh, you don't know what she's going to bring to the table. I couldn't agree more. The advantage Reese has over Kate with that is Kate has two fights. She has the video out there. She can kind of see those tendencies, whereas Reese has nothing out there. And Reese took this fight on a two-week notice. But I do want to say Reese took this on a two-week notice, so no time to even do research. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how Reese comes out here. She says she's a grappler. Um, Definitely ready to go out there and prove for her first fight and prove herself. I will give her this. She looks calm, cool, and collective. This um, fight Kate scheduled only... for three rounds of MMA competition. These ladies weighed in at 115 pounds in anticipation of tonight's fight. Our sponsor for this fight, Down to Earth Irrigation and Landscaping out of Statesboro, Georgia, in the blue corner. Coming to us from Brighton, Michigan, Fighting and training at Scorpion Fighting Systems. She is 2 0. Kate Straight Jacket Johnson. And in the red corner from Beaufort, South Carolina, fighting and training at Beaufort MMA. This is her fight debut. Please welcome Reese Allen. The referee for this fight. Jimmy Neely. First girl fight of the night. Let's see how this goes. Girls fight are always amazing. I bet these girls are about to put on a show. Here we go. Touch gloves. Circling around, trying to feel each other out. Nice little inside leg kick by Reese. Kate kind of walking her down. Nice kick to the body. Kate's already doing a good job of controlling that distance here early on. Kate is throwing nice hands. She has controlled it. Nice head kick by Kate. She's definitely controlling the center of the of the octagon. I couldn't agree more. No we, signs of uh, takedowns right now at this moment. We're looking to have a pretty good fight here on our hands. Ooh, Ooh nice overhand. overhand. Another head kick went to the armpit. Ooh, oh, another overhand lands flush. Oh, here comes Reese going. Denise. Reese with the clinch pulls her onto the cage. She's got Some of the keys to victory here that, that uh, Reese was discussing was that overhand. And, and, and it's, it's always great when you have, you have those fighters that know what the game plan is and they go out there and they execute. It is, and she's done it twice. She's landed two overhands nice and plus. They're working off the cage. Kate looks very comfortable in the clinch there. If Reese wants to get her off, Reese has got to peel her off the cage and spin. And yes, she got that underhook. And she's got to turn that left underhook. To she needs to get that off cage. the cage, though. Yeah, she has to get off that cage. Kate looks very comfortable there. She's not expending a lot of energy. Ooh. Where is Kate? Knee up the center. Kate needs to step, put her left leg in between, and nice do a nice little inside trip and take her to the ground. You have a front row view of this fight here. Yes, we do. They're nice here at Kate's side. Best seat to the house. Best seat in the house. Suck in the comes, clinch. Oh, here comes step that trip. takedown. Careful, oh. guys. Very clean. Outside trip takedown by Kate Johnson. She needs to now start working her way up. Reese needs to let go of that head. It's kind of hindering her a little bit. Kate walking to the side control. So um, Kate Johnson said that she really enjoys the rear naked choke. Uh, and it looks like she's trying to get a little bit of back position. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, Reese is holding on to that leg for dear life. Kate's got to get that left leg free and start working towards the head. Now yeah, the leg's free. Reese does a great job of getting her half guard back. Now she needs to let go of that head, start creating some space, get her full guard. Ooh, nice knees from the bottom. Kate Johnson would uh, benefit from uh, pushing, pushing the hip down, getting a better position there. She's yeah. expending a lot of energy right now trying to pull Reese in. I agree. She's doing a good job of controlling the head, but she needs to work and progress forward. She got the side control. Now she needs to start working to the mount. She comes. She can push that knee down. She might be able to get a better position. One thing I will say is Reese is not taking, being in the positions in, Reese is not taking a lot of punishment. Kate's yeah, doing but a lot she's of being obstructed of her breathing right now. It's not, it's not a lock, but 
she's losing some breath there uh, in that position. Yeah, definitely a great first round for Kate Johnson. Uh, Reese landed those two great overhands, but once it went to the ground, it was all Kate Johnson controlling the, the fight. What would you say the key's a big, the key for Reese Allen for the next round? Reese, Reese needs to stick to that overhand. Uh, obviously, the cage isn't a good spot for her, so if she could keep pumping that uh, outside work and, and keep, keep her on the outside, stay away from the cage, uh, maybe control the center of the cage a little bit uh, or more. She, she might have a chance here of stealing the second, third round. No, I, I agree. I mean, it's just the first round, so she still has two more rounds. She needs to utilize that overhand, but when she does get in those clinch situations, she's got to create the space and work her way off the cage because clearly Kate has the advantage there working on the ground and working off the cage, so she's got to keep her back off that cage. All right, ready for some second round action. Reese seems to be breathing a little heavy there. She does. She's backing up quickly. Kate's letting great oh, combinations. Good straights. Straight into the cage again. She's got that body lock. Looks like she's going for a hip toss. Hip toss. Nice. Lands right into half guard. She's working her way back to full guard. She's controlling the posture very well on the bottom recess. Kate's got to break that and posture up and create some space. Back to that hook. She's got a tight She's setting guard. up a head and arm triangle. If you look right there, Kate Johnson's setting up a nice little head and arm triangle. She slides her knee out. She goes straight to mount. She can finish with that head and arm triangle. The problem is that she doesn't have the position yet, but if she can slip that knee out and come over, she might be able to lock it in. Knees out. She's still setting it up. Reese is doing a great job of turning into her. Looks like she's trying to step up a bunky choke. So far, she's got a lot of pressure on her head. Yeah. She's putting that shoulder pressure. Look, she's trying to do she's a smother choke. She's expending a lot of uh, energy here, though. She this, looks like this she, is a, if you tap out, it's pure pain. Yeah, it looks like she's trying to do a little smother choke. Reese is dropping knees from the bottom, doing everything she can because she doesn't know how to get out from there. She's gonna burn her arms out that way, though. Yeah. Now Kate's starting to drop a little shots from the top side control. Reese is turning on her side, trying to work her way back up. Kate's doing a great job of controlling. She's got her arm locked. Her uh, Reese's ar uh, right arm locked, and she can't really uh, defend too well. Yeah. Do you see that lock that she's yeah, got there? Yeah, I see exactly what foot? you're talking about there, yes. She, uh, she's got like a semi-crucifix from side control. She's uh, She might be able to land a bicep cutter there on, the, on that right arm if she she moves that. Oh, wow. She's got a buggy choke. I don't think it's tight, but it's there. The buggy choke's there. She needs to... Kate's got to get her head out of there, drop that shoulder pressure. Okay, she's good. That was a nice attempt from the bottom. Reese is trying to make things happen. She's tapping. She's tapping. Tap. Wow, with the shoulder pressure. I think it was the uh, the bicep. It, I'm not sure. It could. Um, it looked like she was honestly just dropping that shoulder pressure. A little bit of a smother choke there. Um, she ate some good shots from the bottom. I think it was a combination of eating those shots, setting up the submission. It was a bicep cutter. It was a bicep slicer. It is confirmed bicep slicer. Huh. The stand-up guy out commentates the BJJ guy. <laughs> a blind hog finds an acorn every now and then. <laughs> that was a very sneaky move. It bicep was. cutters are very, very painful. And they go from 0 to 100 really quick. And she set it up very, very nicely. She was tapping for, uh, for a while. Yeah. Kate Johnson moves to 3 0 with a nice submission. It wasn't the rear naked choke she was looking for, but really nice, smooth bicep slicer from Kate Johnson. And kudos to Reese Allen getting in there for her first fight. She landed some really good overhand rights, but in the end, it came down to Kate Johnson's wrestling and her jiu jitsu that brought her home her third victory. No decision of the judges needed for this fight. No decision of the judges needed this, in this fight. At two minutes, one second of the second round, referee Jimmy Neely stops the fight with a bicep slicer 
winning the fight for Kate Straight Jacket Johnson. Great victory for the Straight Jacket. I agree. Uh, that's not a very easy submission to pull off here, uh, especially at this level. It's not, and she set it up very nicely. It was there for a while. Now, I'm, I'm curious if she was setting it up the whole time or she just happened to, one of those submissions she just happened to fell into, she saw it was there. But great job by Kate Johnson. Guys, super excited. Next on the card, we have Trent Creek versus Brady Rivera for the first ever combat jiu-jitsu fight.